Hey guys, Seth from Goldstein Media. Today I want to talk briefly about social media and how how you want to organize your social media interaction online for the best um, return on engagement possible, ROE instead of ROI. Um, what you want to do is you want to think about social media as a bunch of different outposts. Facebook's an outpost, LinkedIn's an outpost, Twitter's an outpost, YouTube's an outpost, and so on. And you want to think about them as places you post your content after you already put it on your site. So you want to think about it as your home base being being your blog, being your website, where you put content on it, you have control over your content. You want to think about, you know, if something were to go wrong with Facebook and it were to go down or, or if they were, were to close your account, you want to be able to have complete control over that content. Because if Facebook decides that you violated some of the terms of, agree, terms of service, you're not, you're going to no longer be able to have access to your content you put up on that site. A lot of people recently have been abandoning blogs and have a lot of people have actually been saying that blogs are going by the wayside. But I think now more than ever, blogs are important to have more than ever because you need a place to put long form content. You need to be able to put stuff on your blog and then tweet it out and Facebook it out and put it on LinkedIn and then even do a, a video on YouTube about the content. Um, but you want your core content to be on your, a site that you control. And this goes back to the whole idea of there's these sites called you know, WordPress.com, Typepad, Blogger. They're great sites for starting out a blog. The problem with them is that once you build them, they're kind of not owned by you. I mean, you have an account there, but you're subject to a, another terms of service in terms of agreement with Google, with Typepad, but I think that's six apart, and with... Um, the others out there, WordPress.com, you with Automatic. So you want to think about possibly setting up a Word installation on a WordPress installation on your own server, where you have complete control over it. Yes, you're you are subject to the terms and conditions of your ser server con of your um, service provider, your hosting company, but you should always keep backups. So that therefore, if stuff should, if they were to take you down, you have backups. You have control over it. Also, by having it on a blog that you own on a site that you own, like some such and such dot com and it's on your own server is that if you decide to change things around at some point, you can do a bunch of re redirects and make all the links go where you need them to go. And you own the links that come to you. Not they're not going to WordPress.com slash or so and so dot WordPress dot com. WordPress dot com is owning those three oh one redirects. So in a way, you want this outpost to be on your site, on your server that you control completely. You want to have it be your core place where you put most of your content. And then you tweet out, to pivots out, out to those, your outposts, you know, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. You also want to think about also having a way where you can, you know, tweet out these long form links, these long form pieces and generate leads from these services. So what you want to do is also is have a contact form, have a call to action on these forums, so if they're interested in contacting you on these on these blog on the blog, so they can contact you and ask for more information, possibly hire you for a job or, or two. So this is some ideas. You know, I'm sorry, it's been a little bit of a roundabout approach to talking about outposts. But you, the keys is, are that you want to have of your own blog on your site on your server. You want to have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, all the you know social media presences. But you want the main content, the main main chunk of ownership to be on you at your server. So that's it for now. Have a great week, guys. Um, go make some money. Take care. Bye-bye.